Welcome to a new edition of DMs. Now, this could either be a one-off or a complete series. It all depends on your reaction. What? Ignore him, he's probably just checking up on me. He's pretty much my boss at this point. Anyway, yeah, let's jump right in. We've got loads of DMs to read out for you. It's also going to be two of us doing it for you. So you've got me, and then we're going to kick it up north to Bonnie Scotland for our friend Jess to read out some more for us. Our first featured one comes from New York City from Caitlin. Thanks a lot for sending the cross, Caitlin. So this is a guy who uh, reacted to one of the posts. Like, they do that thing where they share the post to you as if to tell you about it. I don't... I've had it a few times myself as well. As well. It's like, it's just a very bizarre behaviour. But anyway, it goes something like this. Can't control my aubergine or eggplant on this post. Fire emoji, sweating face. So your vegetables are sentient? No, I mean... Oh, right. It's a fruit, not a vegetable. Aubergine or eggplant. Flash equals my dick. Maybe I should try a New York accent for this. It seeds surrounded by pulp. No, that went country. No, that's, that's not New York at all. It seeds surrounded by pulp, so that makes it a fruit. Crazy how you're brought up to think otherwise. Is your hole clean? No, I bought the explicit version. Sick ref. Wasn't a big 90s grunge fan, though. What? Can't understand? A lot of the bands just didn't click for me. What can I say? Can you show me yourself? If you free, I can't. All of my old CDs are in a box somewhere. Kind of sad, but hey, streaming music is more convenient, I guess. My aubergine or eggplant rising for you are peach. Back on the fruit. So did you know that a peach is a stone fruit, but an eggplant or aubergine technically a berry? Yes, you are peach, Ricky face. Are you kidding with me? No, not at all. Wild stuff, right? Thanks for that one, Caitlin. <laughs> it's always good fun mucking about with them, isn't it? Just send them some random stuff, like just take them off track and just catch them off guard. Always good fun. So I got free from myself. So here's one that's been floating around. Uh, actually, um, it caught me at first because, um, well, you usually get these robots sending you a DM saying, oh, we think you'd be a great ambassador for our brand and all that, and you just ignore him. But then the second message that they send afterwards is this. This may sound a bit random, but my boss saw you on Instagram at explore page when she was scrolling two days ago and thinks she would be a good fit to our agency and asked me to reach out to you. I have to admit that the first message was copy paste. I'm sorry for that. She has sent me your Instagram profile and I understand what she sees in you. Would you like to know more? <laughs> would you like to know more? See, that's sneaky. That's really sneaky. So the first time I got that come through, I thought, oh wow, they're actually trying to be a genuine human instead of being a robot. But no, I've had that same message now for about it must have been about four times now. It's like, oh, okay, that's the new tactic, is it? That's what they're trying to do. So just be wary of it yourself. This next one, I wish I could get a screenshot of it for you. I really do wish. The things about message requests are very up and down. Like sometimes I go in, I'll see certain messages. Sometimes I don't, they just completely disappear. I don't know what kind of criteria it's supposed to meet for you to actually see it. I've seen it a few times, but I've, I've seen it enough that it lives rent free in my head. It just makes me laugh so much. So apparently to some people, I give off like months vibes? Do I give up like, you know, mummy vibes? I don't know. I mean, if that's what you think. Sure, if that's what you're into. Okay, I mean, I think I'm more of like a drunk aunt at a party, really, rather than mum vibes. Mum. Mum. Mummy. Mum. Mama. Mummy. Mum. Mum. Mummy. Mummy. Mum. Mum. Mama. Mummy. Ma. Ma. Mummy. Mum. Mum. Mum! What? Hi. <laughs> it was just a long list of him saying different variations of mum to me. He, he went on for like 30 different words. That's why I say I just wish I could find a screenshot for it again for you. If I ever do, I'll post it somewhere. Put it on a story post or put it on the air or something. Oh, <laughs> good lord. I say it just lives in my head rent free. And the third one is going to be a video DM. Don't worry, you're not going to be seeing any, uh, you know, aubergines on here or eggplant. So it's always good fun going through the message request folders just to see what people send. But this one stood out to me. <laughs> That was just straight up porn, but that was like cropped porn, then wasn't it? Is that a thing? Is that how people come on to each other? They just send each other like cropped, edited porn like that? I don't want to feel pain. I felt enough pain in my life. I feel quite happy not feeling any more pain. I'm all right, thanks mate. I don't know if that works for anyone else, but you know, good luck. Okay, that's enough from me. Now we're gonna kick it up north to Scotland. No way, no, no, up, up, up. Look, mum, I'm a vlogger. 
Here's one of Eliza's ones. Wow, you are so incredible. Would you ever consider getting married? This was actually sent literally weeks before her wedding. I was there, caught the bouquet, I caught actually just stole off the table. This guy, please say something. I'm begging of you, goddess. I rub my nose on the floor in front of you. I beg of you, own me as your slave, bitch, goddess. He did. He did actually send pictures of himself rubbing his face on the floor. The f***. What the f*** is wrong with you? Honestly, what goes through these people's heads? Like, I honestly can't think. I genuinely can't think of a straight answer on that. What goes through their head? Because... I, I, no, there's nothing, absolutely nothing. You're so hot and look like my cousin, and she's hot too. What the f***? What, what state is this from? There's a guy, it's got to be somewhere in the south. Way to lead into your stereotype. So this one is more, there's a reply to a story as opposed to um, a DM. I'm really glad and I wish you a lot of happiness and love. Love is a winner. I would like to take my trans princess to my love kingdom this year. The reply in question happens to be our freshly posted wedding pictures. But he's actually seen these pictures and thought this was appropriate to post. <laughs> Rip the knickers off me right now. Again, what goes through these people's heads to think, like, yeah, I'm shooting my shot and <laughs> this is how I'm going to open Open dialogue. I mean, and in, in what world do you think that's actually appropriate? Wedding photos? Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get my dick wet. So, thank you all so much for watching. It's quite fun doing a new series of DMs. I've been wanting to do one for a while. But you know, Safi's busy. She's got life. She's got a job and family, bless her. Let us know. Again, it depends on your feedback. If you want to see more, tell us. Let us know. Just a one-off. Just a one-off. That's cool as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again. Oh. What's this? Hello? Animal A. What the actual f***? What do you think you're playing at? You've replaced me on DMs? And worse, with a Scottish person? What the hell did I ever do to you? I know I've not exactly been on Instagram lately and I've kind of retired from the public eye and my profile's gone private and all blah, 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 blah. But even so, a phone call would have been nice, a message, a text, an Instagram message, a f carrier pigeon would have done. But no, radio silence. That's all I get. I need to leave the country.